Okay, guys, I hope y'all paying attention, man, and heeding the warnings. This is one of those times I'm going to go out on a limb, not predicting anything, but strongly warning everybody to beware this coming December in a few days now. We're going to listen to a few people and come back to this. In the dream, I was staring at the, at the sky, and it was daytime, and I knew I was looking west. But in this dream, there was a full moon to the left and the sun was to the right. They weren't very far apart and they were both round at first. But the moon, the moon was sitting on a pedestal and I drew a picture, I'll show you in a few minutes. But underneath it, in this, on this pedestal, it was orange and it said three dash four. Eighteenth of November, two thousand and seventeen, um, and you can imagine with my timeline coming up on the, you know, I'm I'm suggesting that we are going to go over. We're going to have closest proximity to planet X that we're ever going to have in this whole whole cycle on um, third, fourth of November of December. Sorry, third or third or fourth of December coming up. That's when we're going to be with the closest to it by my calculations. Then I'm looking at the sun and it started flashing all these colors. It was oval shaped, but the closest thing I can get is to show you this because it was like, it was almost like a, um, like a foggy, color over it at first now mind you this is the closest thing I can get but it was it was like really bright bright colors that was coming from the Sun all of a sudden it got dark enough to see the stars and I remember saying what's going on it's midday it shouldn't be getting dark and I could see millions of stars and as the Sun was flashing all these colors I knew I knew that it was midday. Um, I dreamt that I was standing outside with my husband and my two older kids and our neighbors. And our neighbors just happened to be Patrick Dempsey and his wife. Um, it says we were outside and as, as we were talking, the sun became extremely large and so close that I could see um, it almost looked like every swirl of fire I could see. Um, almost like um, solar flares coming off of the sun. I'm out, and while I was outside, I stayed in the dining room looking out the window. Um, and my dining room window, I don't know if you remember my last video, but I said that it faces the west. Everything just went from daytime to nighttime, just like instantly. And I mean, it was dark. It was dark outside. I could see every star. It was crystal clear. The tree started to blow. And this huge noise, I could hear it coming. And it sounded like it was coming straight at us. There was this long, pointed um, thing that was just flying through the sky. And it was going from west to east in my dream. And... I looked at my husband and I said, grab the kids, get back inside. That is a long range missile. And I don't know what made me think of that. I don't even know. I mean, I don't know anything about this stuff. And I had a dream last night. So I was on a boat, small boat, with some guy. I don't know who he was. And I think we were on the ocean. And then all of a sudden, it got dark, like really dark. And then it got light again. So it was like a, the sun flickered, um, like the lights would flicker before a power, out, power outage. But I knew that this was the end. This was so close to the end. Now you heard their testimonies and basically you know that the sun is going to be fl flickering. And if you watch the sun and you look into the sun, it starts changing colors like pink and purple like they said. And that's because you're looking into the light. You know, and as it goes dark, it's like freaking throwing your eyes out. But, um, yeah, 
it just goes dark all of a sudden there was a couple of more people I was going to add but I don't want to make the video long but yeah they got the same account that it just goes dark and you can see every star in the sky and that's a scary thing and basically you know your ass is had when when uh, this happens and basically we know that our sun is flickering right now and like I said the sun completely went out and and and, the, and watch the governments around the world knew it was going to go out on um, August the 21st and uh, it was no eclipse the sun went out people you know go back and watch the video and look for a sun and like I said, look at the ring of fire around the sun and that'll tell you that no moon went in or out. So, my strongest suggestions for this month is to put on the whole armor of God, meaning to stop sinning completely starting right now and today. You ain't gonna make it, man. These, these meteorites is finna come down. This war is getting ready to start. And you don't want to be going to hell over some bullshit ass sins that you're doing. You know, and I keep saying, uh, God ain't accepting your gay. He ain't accepting your carnal. He ain't accepting your lust. He ain't accepting your uh, fornication and your adultery. He ain't going to accept your weed smoking. He ain't going to accept your murderous ass. You know, he ain't going to accept your lying ass. You know, stop doing drugs. He ain't going to accept you. You know, stop hanging around bad people and bad crowds. You know, hang around the godly. Get into some type of religious foundation or function. You know, get yourself away from losers. And I'm, the losers are the ones who lose their soul. Not the people who don't got money. It's the people who lose their souls. And so watch. Next is to really watch the signs. And what we're looking for is signs of war and economic collapse. Uh, some guy said that it's going to be a huge solar flare, you know, in his dream, you know, and uh, yeah, and then somebody said, uh, Dave Dobbs said that basically it's going to be a huge solar flare as well, and so um, we're going to look for these these signs like this, and signs of war, signs of economic collapse. Uh, in the earth and signs in meteorites asteroids uh, Watch and see if the Sun is flickering in and out man. You got to be vigilant this month man You got to be vigilant starting now <coughs> Because we still only got two more days man, and we going right into that uh, dirty December uh, People are still not getting the magnetic effects of this planet and how it affects the brain uh, you wasting your time on my channel if you don't believe that this we have a, a, another planetary system coming in. You might as well just turn because you won't get none of this. You know, and you just wait till it happens, then you'll get it. So, um, how this planetary, uh, you know, system affects the brain. And I just showed you a couple of videos ago how people are being zombified out by Nibiru's electric magnetic field right on TV. The newscasters, the, the stars, they all just falling all over the place. The recent one is Wendy Williams, huh? You know, uh, we had Hillary Clinton freaking zoiding out before and, and buzzing out. And then this thing is really messing with their brains. And if those people got screwed, watch out. Why you driving? You know, you driving your cars, uh, look out for cars veering towards you or off the road. Meaning, look and see if, if car accidents have increased. You know, if people are blinking out because of this thing, magnetic, uh, uh, electromagnetic field screws with your brain. You know, and, and, and one, another solar system coming into ours will definitely cause you to faint or blink out or act zombified. Um, because I'm seeing every day planes are falling out of the air and they're trying to keep that under wraps. But look at all these small planes that's falling. You know, one just crashed yesterday or last night. Not only does this magnetic field screw with your brain, but it also screw with the plane's operating control system, and it does. So I'm stating it's very dumb to fly right now and very dangerous to drive. So be careful on the roads. I wouldn't go 80 miles an hour. You're dumb. You know. 
If I'm starting to feel dizzy and woozy, are you starting to feel that? Pull over. Better safe than sorry. And like I said, if you got vacation time in December, why don't you heed my warning and just take it? The entire month, if you can, or at least the last 15 days. I could be wrong completely, but at least you could play it safe. You know, I believe 100%, like I said, I'm not watching anybody else's videos or anything else. I'm not getting any messages from anybody else, but so many signs is pointing that something big and life changing is going to happen in December. And lastly, have a safe place to go. When the meteors drop, man, you got to look around your neighborhood. You got to see if there's something safe for you to go. Uh, if you in the city, you can go down in the sewers. And if there are tall buildings around, you can go down to the lower levels. Remember to carry a mask because the buildings will most definitely be on fire when all those meteorites are dropping. And a small amount of food because you might be jammed up somewhere and you can't get out. And water with you all the time, even while you're driving carry some food you can just get a little plastic bag or a little you know backpack or whatever you carry and just put something in there that you can eat man that might you know hold you over for three days you know just in case you trapped under something or stuck in something and you know you survive long enough for somebody to find you these times has changed people and you can't keep going on the way that you've been going on and you have to adjust and or or pay the price for being stagnant. Wrap the news, y'all. Tell me what y'all think.